Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Gran Turismo 2. Let's go finish off Mazda, you guys. We need a Mazda Demio. Perfect. Ooh, purple, you guys. Grape purple. Oops. Well, whatever. It looks like we're doing brakes first. <laughs> I clicked left, but it just didn't go over. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My fingers are getting a little bit ahead of themselves. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm so happy that I didn't press X there. <laughs> that would have brought us right out of where we were. We would have had to go all the way back through the menus. Look at what day we're on, you guys. Takes two to 69, baby. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Displacement? This might actually have displacement. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Demios have a 1.4 liter. Perfect 250, guys. Look at that. Oh, I already got our tires. Or did we? Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I wish it would put a little check mark next to it or something. Front wheel drive, damn it. Pretty sure the race modification for this uh, should be the white and blue. Is it the one I'm thinking about? It's white and blue. Nope. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Ronald McDonald colors, yo. <laughs> Yellow and red. Oh. Gotta make sure we keep checking for the AZ one. We gotta make sure we're uh, constantly looking for the AZ-1, like after every race. <laughs> Seattle Short Circuit. Holy shit, yo. <clears throat> yeah, hold on one second, you guys. There's like a friggin' cloud of police cars outside of my house. <laughs> Just wanna see what's going on. Hmm, interesting. Not sure what's going on outside, but there's a zillion police cars outside right now and they all have their lights on and shit. Just wanted to make sure that they weren't, uh, come to my house for any reason. <laughs> uh oh, shit. 
What the fuck? Oh, okay, it's Seattle Short Circuit Reverse. I was like, where the hell are we? Well, this is a really weird track to do the reverse of, man. I am totally lost, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> Once I come around for the second lap, I'll have my bearings a lot better, though. Obviously, uh, from here on, I know where I'm going, obviously. Wow, holy handling. That's very hard to figure out when to begin that turn. <coughs> it's kind of, um, whoa, by the time you get there, the, uh, the rendering for the track hasn't actually caught up yet. So it's like all of a sudden it's just like no wall, no wall, and then all of a sudden, whoa! <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, come on. Stop being such a meanie. Such a mean, mean man. Oh, that was gorgeous. <coughs> yep, Master Demios are pretty good cars. This car actually sounds pretty nice too. It's got a nice low grumble. It's like oh, oh. pretty sweet, man. Geez, that guy was banging out there in the A spec. And yes, I know, we we actually do have a Mazda Demio A spec, but the thing is is that the special edition vehicles do not have racing modifications. And we do need a racing modified Demio in order to do this race, <laughs> which was why I did not use that car. Uh, instead, we just went out and bought this one. So now it's day two. There's our AZ1, you guys. I see it. Give me one second. I have goddamn cat hair all over my face. Cat or dog hair. <laughs> see if there's any other AZ1s while we're here. Because there is two different types of AZ1s in this. The fuck is a Mazda Cosmo? Oh yeah, it's that big ass sedan, I got you. Oh, there's a real Japanese ace back, you guys. No way. Say, <laughs> that's top of the line right there. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got our AZ-1. <laughs> That's such a weird looking car. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and purchase. But we're not going to get in it right now. We're going to stay in our Demio. I'm happy that we got the AZ-1. Let's go ahead and racing modify it. <laughs> we're going to do the Ronald McDonald. Demio race. Here we go. Let me take another quick look outside just to see what's going on. Oh, no, there's an ambulance. There's an ambulance slowly driving away. I do hope that uh, <coughs> everybody's okay out there. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I just noticed flashing lights outside my window when I was uh, when the screen was black, and then yeah, there's a million cops everywhere. <laughs> but there's also an ambulance that just drove drove uh, slowly up the road. Not sure what's going on out there. Doesn't really concern me any. I'm not one of those people that like uh, you know stands there staring out their window. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure that uh, 
maybe if they want to speak to me about something that I'm available, you know what I mean? Like if the police come over and, you know, tell me that there was like a, I don't know, a, a fight or a stabbing or who knows, you know what I mean? The world is nuts. <laughs> but, I mean, usually when there's some type of thing like that that happens, uh, the police usually like to kind of go to the neighbors' houses if they see lights on and just ask the neighbors if they heard anything, if they saw anything. Which I did not. I haven't heard anything or seen anything unusual tonight. Other than the fact that there's like a million police outside right now. I'm totally off my apex. <laughs> Yellow and red. And then it has two white pinstripes. Like, what the hell? Oh yeah, listen to this thing. Brrr, that's awesome. Oh, turn, my love. Oh, I turned so hard there. <laughs> like break my fucking steering wheel. <laughs> you know what I mean? God damn. Ah. This car has a lot of oversteer and it's it happens instantaneously. There's like no time to stop it from happening. Oh man, this guy's fast. <laughs> Leave me alone, sir. Trying to do that type of shit. Can you do that type of shit? No. So get away from me, sir. <laughs> You're nothing to me. Jeez, that guy is fast. Maybe that was an ace bet. <laughs> Called it. I didn't know the ace back had racing modifications. I should have just take. Oh, I should have just taken the ace back. God damn it. What? Did you guys see? I don't know if you guys noticed that I did, though. It has little, uh, it has little red, uh, eyelids on the headlights. <coughs> yeah, it does, too. Look at when it comes around to the front, it has little red eyelids. That's so cool. Okay, let's go get our Mazda AZ-1. There she is, you guys. The fastest vehicle ever built. <laughs> Look at how much it weighs. 1,587 pounds. <laughs> let's see if they have the other one first. Right, there's another one. Let's see if they have the other one. No. Okay, I just wanted to check and make sure, because there's the AZ-1, and then there's the special AZ-1. It's like a Type R or some shit. Or a Spec A. You can actually fit a goddamn intercooler into this thing. <laughs> Come on. It'd be sticking out the back of the car. Yes, this car is mid-engine rear-wheel drive, so for anybody who's about to say, well, the intercooler doesn't go at the back of the car. Well, it fucking does when the engine is in the back there, hero, all right? So, <laughs> so before you leave your dumbass comment... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. I mean, unless you had some type of system in your... I mean, that would be one hell of a custom build. To have the fucking intercooler in the front and the, the rest of the engine behind the seats. 
be a very interesting conversion to make there. You'd have to find some way to get it to connect underneath, in between the seats or something. I have no idea. That'd be customized. That'd be custom as hell to do that, though. Probably cost you more to do that to the car than it would to buy the actual car, to be fair. Like the... When you put uh, roof scoops on a Toyota MR2. Sounds like a simple thing to do. But like I'm talking proper roof scoops, like roof scoops that actually connect to the induction of the engine. You know what I mean? Like a real roof scoop. Not just like a piece of plastic that you glue to your roof <coughs> that actually causes drag more than it helps. <laughs> I laugh at people that buy stupid shit like, oh, what's the point of even buying that, man? Oh yeah, my car's got a roof scoop. <laughs> even though air does not actually go anywhere, it just gets caught inside the roof scoop and slows your car down. Alright, easy one challenge. Let's do it. Grand Valley East again. What the hell? Did I not get all my, uh, I didn't, I forgot to buy all of our drivetrain parts, transmission, clutch, flywheel, um, drive shaft, and the uh, differential. So we're missing five parts. Jeez, listen to this thing. <laughs> Oh, there's the other Mazda AZ one. You could tell the difference. The difference between the two of them visually is that the uh, like A spec version or the secondary version has a little spoiler on it. Oh, I'm not even turning right now, you guys. I I, I literally pressed left one time to make that whole turn. Like I was just like tick. <laughs> That's the easy one. Whoa. Uh, the first profile that I ever made on this game, way back in the day, I'm talking when the game first came out 20 years ago. <coughs> uh, th this was actually the very last race in the game that I had to do. Because the AZ1 is so friggin' rare. kind of like driving the Beat, like the Honda, Honda Beat is very similar to this car. <coughs> beat is a little bit longer, so you get a little bit more handling in the Beat, because <coughs> it has a bigger wheelbase. Now, Ooh, mad oversteer, holy. <laughs> you guys hear the turbo? <laughs> oh, God. Fourth gear. <laughs> <laughs> this car is nuts. It is kind of like the beat. It definitely feels like I'm driving the beat. Yo, that fourth gear is everything, baby. Whoa. <laughs> fourth gear in this car is the gear. <laughs> uh, copyright! Copyrighted music, yo. Copyrighted, copyright, copyrighted music, yo. <coughs> yeah, the A spec, yeah. The A spec is the one with the spoiler. Ooh, 
Well, that's going to do it for Mazda, you guys. I believe the next one is going to be Tommy... Tommy Kyra? Let's see. Yep, next one is going to be Tommy Kyra, and I believe it is the ZZ2, or a ZZ2, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oh, it's just the ZZ, okay. I thought it was the ZZ2 challenge, but it's just a normal ZZ challenge. <clears throat> is that a fucking Lotus Carlton? Oh, it's an R30 Skyline. My heart started beating so fast right there, I thought that was a friggin' Lotus Carlton. Oh! <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's the car that we need right there, the ZZFs. Uh, Tommy Kyra specializes in tuning up Nissan, if you guys are wondering. They're basically like, uh, they're sort of like, uh, Nismo number two, I guess you could say. Yes, sir! That's gonna be the end of the episode here today. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and watching it, as always. And uh, if you guys want to be the coolest, coolest individual <laughs> on the planet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, you guys. I really need subscribers, man. It takes literally three seconds. You can back out at any time. It doesn't cost you nothing, but it helps me a lot. So if you could do that for me, man. Muchos apreciados, you know what I'm saying? Or however the hell it said, my Spanish sucks. I freaking love you guys. <laughs> I freaking love you guys. I wish you guys the total best. I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the very next episode where we're going to go conquer Tommy Kyra. Have a good one, you guys. Bye. Bye.